hand us over to uh, Nomi to take charge of the program. Thank you. Um, good afternoon, girls and boys. So um, we're going to start now. And we, we thank you that you took the time to come and listen to um, Dr. Mavunzi. So we will start with an opening prayer and we will ask Katleho to please open for us with prayer. Okay, let us pray. Thank you, God, for a wonderful day. Thank you for being with us and for taking us. Please keep us safe from the virus. Father, we pray that you continue blessing us. Thank you for the wonderful Father that you bless us. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, God, so um now we're going to start. Um the person who's um um representing it who is um going to talk to us today is Dr. Um Mubanzi and she will be talking to us more about um robots and um how they work and the future of manufacturing. So um, I'll hand it over to you. Um, questions, we will have our questions after she is done. I just want to remind you that when we ask questions, please raise up your hand and then we will pick you. So over to you, Dr. Mavanzi. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here to present to you. So today we're going to talk about what is known as additive manufacturing. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be talking about robots today, but I'll be talking about this type of uh, manufacturing technology, which is very interesting, especially for you children, because this kind of technology promises a lot in the future. So I will quickly share my screen. Okay, can, a, can everybody see the screen which I'm sharing? Yes, we can. Okay, so I'm going to proceed. So today I'm going to talk about additive manufacturing. First of all, I'm going to talk about the basic of what is manufacturing, what are the methods of manufacturing that are currently there, what is additive manufacturing? Then I'm going to narrow down to a type of additive manufacturing known as 3D printing. Then I'm going to explain how things are made with this 3D printing, what we can make and what is the future of uh, additive manufacturing. So first of all, I'm going to talk about what are known as raw materials. I'm sure you all know what are raw materials. I want you to know that all the raw materials that we have, they were created by God. They all came from God. So we've got different type of raw materials. Uh, for example, in the soil, we can have our minerals such as silver, our iron. We can have gold and we can use that gold to make things. Then we also can have cotton. And then uh, those are the kind of raw materials. There are many raw materials. Does anybody know what other raw materials are out there? Who wants to tell us any kind of raw materials that you know? Yes. Apart from the minerals and the cotton? Wood. Yeah, that, that's it. We've got wood. So now we want to talk about manufacturing. When God made all the materials that we have in the world, when God created man, he gave man wisdom so that man can use the natural resources to make our finished products. So that process of making 
a, a natural of using a natural resource to make a final product is what we call manufacturing so from the word manufacturing we understand that the thing is man-made and is also made using a factory or using a machine so a typical example is we have trees and then these trees we can extract our wood then this wood goes into a factory and then from the factory we can make books we can make chairs we can make all sorts of things so this is what we call manufacturing so i'm going to explain uh, about the type of manufacturing processes that we have i'm going to talk about what is known as casting uh, casting is a type of manufacturing process whereby we first melt our material then we put it in a mold so that it takes the shape of that mold then we have our finished products i will just give a simple example of the chocolate that we have we've got chocolates of different types uh, of shapes and we use casting in order to make that chocolate to have that particular shape that we like so this is one method of manufacturing then the other method is known as forming for forming we use uh, forces to shape the material so that it can take the shape that you want think of your favorite doll uh, we use forming to, to to shape that particular plastic material so that it can uh, be, make that doll so that is one also another type of uh, process then we have what are known as subtractive processes whereby we we make products by subtracting material we start with a huge chunk of material then we use our tools to cut that material so that it can make a shape that we like so the fourth type of manufacturing process is the one that we are going to talk about today and it is known as additive manufacturing so additive manufacturing uh the word additive itself it comes from the word addition addition whereby we are making a part by adding materials on top of each other until we have the final shape just to think of a builder who is uh, building a house using bricks that are added bit by bit bit by bit and then finally we will have our finished product which is a house so additive manufacturing uses this principle of adding materials on top of each other to make the final product but in additive manufacturing of course we are using a machine the machine is the one that makes these products we are it's very interesting because you just tell the machine whatever you like and then the machine can do it for you so i'm going to explain further on that okay so um on on the additive manufacturing there are many processes that can be regarded as additive manufacturing but today i'm going to talk about what is known as 3d printing and i'm just going to play a short video so that you can understand what i'm talking about before i proceed so just hang on in there while i play this video on youtube Can anyone see the video? I can't. No. 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 Is it? Is it is I it, can't. I think no, it's, I opening. Can't. it's opening. It's opening. No, I can't. 
Okay, let me. You need to stop sharing this one and then open the video and share uh, from the video. Okay, let me stop. Then let me start to share the video. Okay, kids, can you see the the video now? Yes. Can you tell me what, what I can see it. Yeah. I can see it. Hello. I can see it. You can see it. Yes. 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 Okay, so I will just play it. Just listen carefully. Hmm. How would you like? No. Okay. I can't hear. We can't hear. The volume. We can't hear, we can't hear anything. <laughs> Okay, uh, stop the video. Stop the video. Uh, Rumi, just. I think when she's when she reshares the video, she must also share, say share audio. So just uh, close it down. Yeah, when when you upload it, say share uh, optimum optimize for audio sharing or something like that. Like that. At the bottom yeah, it's there. audio sharing. Yeah, it asks you to tick some boxes on sharing your yes. share computer sounds. So okay. Yeah, yeah, so what? Works. So what should I do now? Is it asking you to share optimum computer sound or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, tick those boxes and then share it again. Okay. Are we together now? How would you like to have a machine that could make anything you wanted? Sounds good, doesn't it? Well, this is now possible through the magic of 3D printers. And while you might not yet see a 3D printer sitting alongside your toaster or your TV at home, you will start to see them more and more in places like schools, in shops, in hospitals and many other places. But what is a 3D printer and how does 3D printing allow us to make almost anything from nothing? Well, first, we need to take a step back and look at how we normally make stuff. Basically, there are four ways we make things. The first way is called subtractive manufacturing. In subtractive manufacturing, we take a lump of material like wood or metal or stone, and we cut away some parts of it to make the thing we want. So, we remove or subtract, just like you do in maths, the material we don't need to create something. And this could be carving a wooden chair from a tree or making a statue from some stone. The second way of making stuff is called forming. And here we take a block of material and we apply a force to change its shape. And my personal favorite of a formed object is Wallace and Gromit, made by shaping or forming plasticine. The third way we make things is called casting. And this is where you take a solid material, you make it into a liquid, and you pour it into a mold. And a nice example of casting, one of my favorites, is the way we make chocolate bunnies and Easter eggs. There's also a fourth way we make stuff, and that is called additive manufacturing. And this is where we have nothing to begin with, and you take your material and you add it exactly where you want it until you have your final object. 3D printing is one type of additive manufacturing and it involves making an object by adding material one tiny layer at a time. So, how do you do that? Well, it all starts by making a drawing of the thing you want on your computer. The computer then makes a special kind of file which it sends to the 3D printer. And the 3D printer reads that file and prints the object layer by layer to make the thing you want. That sounds interesting, but why would you want to do that? 3D printing can help people to make new shapes and new objects that were not previously possible. And all sorts of different materials can be used, like plastics or metals or food, or even, even living cells that your body is made of. 
So, who uses 3D printers? Who cares about this? Engineers are using 3D printers to make parts of jet engines that are lighter and stronger, to make aeroplanes more efficient and use less fuel. Doctors are using 3D printers to make new hands and arms and legs that are perfectly fitted for the patients who need them. Even chefs are experimenting to make amazing new types of food that you just couldn't even imagine. And hospitals are using 3D printers to make new body parts for people, such as new bones, to repair really bad fractures, perhaps to the face or to the hand. And even using 3D printers to make objects from cartilage, the thing that your ear is made of, to make new ears for people who may have had a bad accident. One day, we may even be able to 3D print new organs inside your body, like kidneys or livers, using the patient's own cells in these printers. 3D printing is already changing the way we make stuff, and who knows what amazing things that you could make with a 3D printer in the future. Okay, are we together? I hope you enjoyed the video. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Okay. yes. yes. I can hear you. Okay, so let us proceed. So how do we make things using 3D printing? You have heard that you can make almost anything that you like using 3D printing. For us to be able to make things using 3D printing, the first thing that we do is to draw the shape of the thing that we want using a computer. So the computer has a software that allows us to draw the, the, the shape of the object. We can draw any shape that we can think of because we, do, we are not limited, it's just depends on your imagination, whatever you can think of. For example, uh, we can draw this doll here using our computer. So after drawing this thing using a computer, the next step is that the computer will convert that drawing into a special file. And this file is called an STL file. The file is just composed of many triangles. In other words, that particular shape that you have drawn, the computer will convert it to so many triangles. This is what is called an STL file. Then after having your STL file, the next thing is for you to send that file to the printer. But before the file is sent into the printer, it is converted to a lot of slices. It is just converted to slices that are combined to make the object. So you send your, 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 your file to the computer, then the computer will read the file that you sent. So in other words, we are saying that the, 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 the 3D printer communicates with your computer, understand the language of the shape that you want. Then the next thing is that the 3D printer will then read the file and use that file to build the object that you like. So this object is built layer by layer. It's just um, a stake of layers being put on top of each other until the part is complete. You can see from this slide, that the part now is complete or the door or whatever that you want to build. So now the question is, why do we need to have 3D printing? Because we can only draw this thing on the computer. It's different from the other processes that I talked about, whereby you can physically make your object using maybe your hands and tools 
this time we are saying this object is being made by the machine for, from the computer. So that means you can make any shape that you can think of. Think of those shapes that are difficult to make using the methods that I have stated earlier, such as forming and uh, subtracting, subtraction. So these are some of the shapes that are difficult to make that we can make using uh, 3D printing. So who can use this kind of technology? Engineers can use this technology to make um, aerospace, aero, aeroplane parts or to make engine parts. And when they make those parts, they can make those parts much lighter when the parts are lighter, it, be, it means that the car is not very heavy. And when the car is not heavy, then it, it's going to consume less fuel and we can save money. So these are some of the things that can be done. We can use this to make parts, organ parts. We can use it to make um, prostrate for people that have been injured. There are so many uh, ways that we can use this technology. You can see on the picture that there's this guy with, who doesn't have a leg, and then the leg has been replaced using a 3D printed part. We can also use this technology to make jewelry. That is, we can use it to make our earrings. We can use it to make our um, necklaces. Because, so we can have beautiful shapes that are difficult to make with the other methods. So we can make any type of jewelry. We can also use it to make your favorite toys. We can just draw the toy on the computer and then we instruct the machine to build the toy that you want. So we can make all type of Toys doesn't matter how Hello. difficult. Hello, there's a problem with the connection. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yes. yes. Can. Okay. Yes. So we can make toys. So how can we use additive manufacturing in the future? In the future, we believe that this technology is going to be used to build even our houses. We can make super big um, buildings using 3D printing. It will be much easier. We won't use um, a lot of people. We won't use um, a lot of time. We won't be spending a lot of time building those houses. It will just be done by the machines. And also we can use it to make real cars there are people already who are trying to find out if we can use this technology to make cars. So we can use uh, cars at less cost in a sh very short amount of time. We can use it to make our food, to make cakes, and also to make human bones. So that is my presentation for today. So that is all I have just to tell you about 3D printing. So I'm now leaving time for questions. I hope you enjoyed. I did. That was so short. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, no, me, over to you. Okay, thank you very much, um, doctor. So we'll take the rest of this time to start, you guys can start ask, asking questions, but, but please raise up your hands and yes. So you can start ask, asking questions now. Renee is end up. Okay, you may ask your question. Can a 3D printer make people? Oh, only God can make people. 
we can only we can only make the we can only make products using things that were given by God. It is only God in heaven who can make a human beings. But I can use a 3D printer to make a toy that looks just like you. I can take your picture. I can convert it to a model on the on the computer. Then I can print a toy that looks exactly like you. But only God can give life. Okay. But uh, let's say, isn't you said you can print some body parts, um, uh, cells, whatever, the heart and stuff. So can you build a person using, you can make the foot, the leg and the hair and everything? I think it's... <laughs> I, for, for the people that have started to experiment these things, it's only the body parts that have been made. Like, for example, if you have got a condition, let's say you want a heart transplant, then they, they use your, your, your cells that are within your body. They somehow dissolve those cells, and then they instruct the computer to build the certain organ with the characteristics that are with the characteristics that can make it perform its function. Okay, but not a real person that has not been done before. There's only been some trials and experiments to build uh, parts. But for now, most of the parts that have been built are like the prostrates and the bones for people that have been in that have been injured but n there's not been much work on the making of the hearts and stuff it's only few people that have experimented on that so we believe that in the future we are going to make a lot of human organs using the technology we have three questions to make sure you can go ahead um how big would the 3D printer need to be to print a house? Oh, it has to be very big. Have you seen a crane before? Like a crane that is used in industry to, to lift up material in a construction site? Yes. Yes. So that means we will have a printer with the size of that particular crane. But right now in South Africa, we do not have those kind of uh, machines as yet. But in other countries, they've already experimented. They just started to see if there are houses and they managed to build a few houses using additive manufacturing. But it will need oh. a very big printer. Um, Kyla, you have a question? Yes, then Rina, I can come. How long does it take to print something? Sorry? How long does it take to print something with a 3D printer? It depends with the size of the machine that you have. If you have got a big machine, then you, you which can print at a faster rate. It can print at a faster rate. So it depends with the type of machine that you have because the machine have got different speeds. When you are buying the machine, then they will tell you that, you know what, for you to build this kind of size of a part, you will take this time. So it depends with the kind of printer because there's a printer for plastic, there's a pr printer for metals. So it depends. Now we got a question from Renaya. Renaya, go ahead. Can a 3D printer like replace all of your bones, like all of the bones on your leg? No, like all of your bones. Can it replace all of your bones? Well, it has not been done before. But what I know is if you have got a certain injury, for example, you have got a leg injury, it can just print one uh, section of the bones that is required at that particular time. But I'm sure in the future we're going to have printers that can print um, a full 
human body, like in terms of the bones. But for now, we are only printing small body parts, like in terms of the bones, because it won't be, at the meantime, we are not using bone material. We are using other materials such as titanium that can be used to replace your bone. And that material will not uh, cause any damage in your body. All right, but then um, is it still functional? Like, is there still any blood? Like, they take out um, a bit of blood. Do they inject it inside the, the bone and then they um, put it on? Oh, you mean the fluids that are in the bones? Yes. That they take the bones. Of course, there is some research which is currently going on whereby you have your bone and then that, that particular bone will be injected with certain fluids so that you will not get sick or you won't get any infection after getting that bone in your body. All right. Okay. My question is, um, how many objects can a, pre a 3D printer make? Sorry, I, I can't hear you. Can someone please tell me what he is saying? I he said that how many objects can the D 3D printer make? It can make as many objects as you like. Many objects. There is Charles Gora. Um, I wanted to ask if you had uh if you have a bone on your mm -hmm. in inside and you and you your bones are getting uh, are painful, will that bone be painful? Okay, well, it depends on what causes the pain in the bones. Some of the pain is caused by maybe an infection or maybe a disease or something. So if, if that bone is broken, if it is painful because it is broken inside, then we replace it with a 3D printed one, which is not broken. Then it means you won't feel the pain. Okay, but thank can you. A three, can a 3D bone feel pain in future? Of course it can. It depends on how that bone is, is inserted into the body. Obviously, it has to be clean enough. We have to make sure that it is clean and then we have to put the right medication so that it doesn't cause any infection. Because there's someone who was actually working on a study like that. He created a certain uh, portion of the bone for the hand using 3D printing. And then for that bone, he, it, it had been injected with some medication so that it won't affect the person who gets the bone. Because there were some instances whereby some other bones that are replaced are not uh, clean enough. Maybe they might be containing some germs which are harmful to the body of that person. Mapanzure boys. Mapanzure, yes. Do, do they, can a D3 printer, can it replace your leg when, when it's broken? Yes. yes, of course it can. We can make, we can make something to, 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 of course we won't be able to replace the actual <laughs> leg, but we can make something that will be used to substitute your leg so that you can walk comfortably. For example, when I presented my slides, I, sh I showed you a picture whereby one person's leg was replaced with, um, with an, uh, another part. It's not really the leg, but it, it's an option that can be used so that you can walk comfortably. Okay, um, so you want to ask? I think there's two questions from Mapanzu. Okay. 
the other boy you can ask so that we can go uh, to the next ones. Can can a three D printer print? Uh, how how do do they put it on the leg? Sorry. Uh, how do they put the the bone on the leg? Okay, you the, the bone. Okay, there are doctors who can do some operations who are specialized in make uh, operating people and replacing the bones. So the engineers can make the 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 part, and then they give them to the doctors. Then the doctors can operate on the person and replace the the broken bone with the three D printed uh, organ. So it depends with the doctors. It's it's not the the engineer's job. It's the doctor who replaces the the bone. Then with Lael. Where can I find a three D printer? Where can you find a three D printer in the shop? There are some companies that sell 3D printers. For example, there's a company here in South Africa, it is known as GE Additive. And then there's another company called Materialize. So if you go there, you can just tell them the kind of um, parts that you want to make. Do you want to use it, the printer to make toys? Why do you want to use the printer? Then they can tell you that this is the kind of printer that you need to make your part. I'm um, asking where can I buy it? You can buy it in the shop, in those companies, uh, shops like in, at GE Additive. There's a company here in Johannesburg called GE Additive, which sells 3D printers. All right, Lael, Lesonte rather, sorry, Lesonte. When your bone is broken, can you put it on it, on the another bone? Sorry, you are saying when your bone when, is broken. When your bone is broken, can you fix it to work again? Yes, you can fix it because we are saying that if your bone is broken, then we can use 3D printer to make a part similar to your bone. Then we replace it in your body. Then you can walk again. Okay. All right. Thank you, Lesonte. Uh, Alicia and Ezio, I don't know where is the question there. Unmute yourselves. Yes. Can a 3D printer make many objects at once? Yes, it can make many objects at one time. It depends with the size of the parts. If the parts are small, then it, you can just tell the printer that you want to make three parts as long as they can fit into the size of that printer. Okay, so you can make you. many parts. But if it's a big part, then you can't make two at the same time. Okay, thank you. All um, right, uh, Metembe. Yeah. How much is a 3D print printer? It depends with the, what, with the type of printer. Some of them are small, some are big. <laughs> the smaller ones are cheaper. Some are for plastics. Some are for metals. So it, it depends with the type of printer that you want. But I'm sure you can get a very small printer at a good price. What is okay, price? I have a 1, question. 1,000 rand, 5 rand, 5,000 rand. <laughs> okay, maybe something like 5,000 rand, maybe. You can get a very, very small print. Okay. I have a question. Lonoabo. Lonoabo, you can unmute and ask your question. Thank you. 
Um, when you go put uh, when you go put a bone, does it is it uh, expensive or costly? Sorry. When you go put a three D printer bone, like when you print it, um, a bone from your body, is it costly mm -hmm. or uh, is it expensive? Yes, it is. It is expensive because of the kind of uh, machines that are used. There are actually some bones that were printed at this university, Central University of Technology. They, print, they printed some parts and then the parts were actually used to replace certain portions in people's bodies. And then those people's lives are much better now. So that one is it's, it's a bit more pricey. It's, it's expensive. Okay, okay I can ask a question. No, me. Okay, go ahead. So, um, right, you said they they can like make food with the printer. Yes. So, um, is the food healthy? Yes, the food is healthy. It is very okay. healthy because we just use the materials that we have, the the food that was created by God that we already have, that we plant, so we can put it into the machine and then the machine can make something from that. Oh. What is the printer made of? Landwe, you can ask your question. What is the printer made of? A printer. Oh. Okay, uh, obviously, I mean, a printer is just made out of um, plastic, certain kind of plastics, but some of the printer are made of metals, depending on what exactly they are printing. For the plastic printers, most of the parts are made of plastic. There are some portions that are made of glass. To be sure. I have a question. Was, a question. I was asked, I was asking, can you print a 3D printer? Oh, you mean we can use a 3D printer to print another 3D printer? <laughs> yes, why not? It just depends if you if you are printing the, the printer with the right material or not. As long as you have the right material, then you can print another print. Oh. Nice. You guys, you're done. No more questions. <laughs> so I love the way that they ask questions. It shows that they were really listening. Yeah, they do listen. listen. Muta, you have a question. Evidence, do you have a question? Wave well, at me if you have a question, evidence. Musa, you can ask your question. Can a 3D printer make a bed? A bed? Yes. Like the bed that we sleep on? Yes. Yes, it can make. Why not? You just draw it on the computer. You just tell the printer that is what you want, and then it can print for you. But I think you will need a very large printer for that of which at the meantime in South Africa, we don't have those kind of big printers. And can it also make paper dolls? Yes, there are certain uh, 3D printers that are used for making uh, material using paper and wood. So you can make a, a 3D printer using, you can make uh, paper dolls using a print. You just need to choose the right printer. Okay. Nathan Pemiwa has a question. Nathan Pemiwa has a question. You can speak, Nathan. So you can print anything you like? Almost anything you like. Okay. I don't want to say everything because there are some shapes that, have, that can be difficult to make, but Almost everything we can make them using 3D printing. Okay. 
Right. Um, it looks like we're out of questions. Who answered the question? Uh, who asked to wave at me? Oh, evidence. Sorry, evidence. Yes. I wanted to ask: Can a three D printer make a hand? You mean a hand with flesh or the the bone? The bone. Yes, it can make the bone, but not the hand yeah. with blood and and flesh. At the meantime, you can just make the bone. Yes. All right. I have a question. Give give strive then Tina you will ask next. Strive, ask your question and then Tina is next. Can a 3D printer print teeth that can actually attach to your gum? Yes. But those are not like uh, real teeth, like the ones that we have. We can have artificial teeth printed using 3D printing. Rene, uh, Tina, Tina is next before Rene. Oh. Can, 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 can a 3D printer print a, can a 3D printer print, 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 ah, uh, Can a 3D printer print a small a mini plane which has propellers and work that flies? Yes, it can print. You can make uh, things that are already joined together. Like you've said, you can make the small aeroplane which has got the propellers and everything. You can make it at once with 3D printing. So there won't be need for joints. Yes, there won't be need for joints, depending on the size of the of the part that you want to make. But you can make parts that are already joined together. Um, can a printer make windows? Yes, it can make windows. Can a three D printer um? make an object that functions with electricity. But then um, can the 3D printer print that object with the electricity? For electricity, we have to first connect to a source of electricity first. After, I mean, after printing the part. We can make the part with cables and everything that we like, but then we have to connect it to a power source. Okay, and um, can it make, can a 3D printer make your hands and it includes your, um, can a 3D printer make your hand and it, it includes your skin? For now, there's not, there's not been that kind of uh, technology, although people one. are doing some experiments. There are some people who are experimenting, like trying to build uh, human organs, like the heart and the kidney, for yeah, people that then, have um, medical uh, issues. But for now, I have not heard of such uh, kind of research whereby we have a 3D printer printing the skin and the blood. But we can print a, a broken part of the bone. Okay. And can it, um, like, does it take a sample, like a sample of your skin and then can it print it? Like a small, it it? yeah, for, for a small sample, it, it can print because this is like the research that is being done. But for now, they've not printed like the whole leg. They've just taken uh, cells from a human body. Then they've tried to print certain parts of the body, like the kidney and the heart. All right. Mm. That's all. Um, Musa? 
Can a 3D printer make walls? Walls like like in the building, in yes, a house? Something like, yes, something like this. Yes, they are 3D printed houses that have been printed so far. But we don't have that kind of technology here in South Africa yet. But there are houses that have been printed in other countries using very big 3D printers. So yes, we can build houses using 3D printers. Nice. Uh, to Michelle. I was gonna ask, can a 3D printer um, print hair? Mm, I've never heard of such kind of a printer before, but it's possible. It's possible. Scientists are actually working on that. But we oh. don't have, yeah, it has not been done before, but people are just working on finding out whether that can be done. Oh. All right. Uh, do we have Tine? Tine, you have a question, right? Yes. Okay. Tine, so, uh, Tine, your network is failing us. Is oh, no. She's got a connection uh, problem. Your, your connection is bad. Is it possible for her to type or if it's him or her, they can just type a message? Okay, she, she, she who said the a question? I saw a message that says somebody's oh let's go to Sonja, you said you have a question, right? You can ask your question. A 3D the printer makes everything you want. Yes, almost everything. You want. Okay. Uh, to be sure, is that a new question or your end has been up since the previous question? What's a new question? All right, you may ask uh, your question. Can a 3D printer print a phone? Yes, it can print a phone. Oh. Can a, 3, can a 3D printer print a real phone? A real phone. That works. Yes. 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 Yes, we can print a real phone. That works. Okay. That works. Yes. Yeah, a real phone that works. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Oh, that must work. Right? So guys, um, Lael, may you please remain behind and, 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 uh, what's his name? It's Lael and me. Lael and, and Renee, please remain behind. Uh, can we take the last two questions? I have Tumisho and Musa. Is there anyone who has a question besides Tumisho and Musa? Because I will check those two hands and then we are done. Uh, okay, Musa, you can ask your question. Londo, is that your question? Yes, I have a question. Can okay. I Yes, we can print a laptop. Oh, a monitor. Yeah, it can print a laptop and or a monitor. 
Muta, what's your question? Can a 3D printer print clothes? Yes, we can print clothes. Who answered the question? And can it print chairs? Yes, we can print shares, but it will be expensive for us to print them with 3D printing. We can just make shares using uh, someone who is skilled with their tools, then they can make the, the, the chairs. So a 3D printer makes complex, um, complex shapes, the shapes that you cannot easily make then you need uh, sometimes a 3D printer to do that for you. Or mm. if it's body organs that you cannot make by hand, then you need a, three, a 3D printer for that. Uh, with Guara Faith. Um, and I wanted to, I can, wanted a three, to can a 3D printer print a light bulb? Yes. Like a real one. Yes. <coughs> okay, Faith Quara. Um, can we can we print like a wig? Like some some women wear wigs. Can we mm. print wigs? Mm. I uh, I want to be honest with you. I have not came across people who printed wigs using a 3D printer. But if it is those kind of wigs that are artificial, that have got uh, plastic hair, <laughs> we can make them. Oh. As long as we are able to draw that wig on the computer, then we can make it. Okay. But you see, the thing is, uh, because of the price of 3D printers, they are a bit more pricey. We can't just use them to print things that we can make using other processes. Obviously, we have to target those parts that are difficult for us to make using the processes that we already have, like the complex parts that I showed you on my slides. Then it, become, it makes sense for us to print that in terms of cost rather than just printing we can print anything, but we also have to look at the cost of that printing that thing. Okay. I see three hands. Let those be the last ones. Yeah, they are now two. To me, show oh. And a 3D printer print, make an animal? No, not yet. It has not been done before. Like I said, you know, God created people and God created animals. God has the power to create the natural people that we see and the animals. We can only use the things that are given to us by God to make the finished products. Oh. So I've not seen where a 3D printer has been used to make an animal. Maybe you can give Strive. Strive isn't asked a question. Oh, he did. Strive. Tina, we said type your question because we can't hear you. Can you make eggs using a 3D printer? Mm. So I'm I'm sure eggs. Mm. Using a 3D yes, printer, yes. it has not been done before. So I don't want to say yes or no, because we do have the technology of like, if we can use cells to build certain things, but for eggs, just like I have mentioned that, you know, some things they were created by God. They've not been that kind of, uh, technology to print eggs. It has not been done before, but maybe in the future it can be done. But for now, it has not been done before. Mutsa, last question, okay. Mutsa, you lost our last question, right? 
Can a 3D printer print a brick? Yes, you can. But it will be a very expensive brick because it's, 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 it's expensive to make it using 3D printing. You can just m make that brick using the traditional processes that I've said before. So with 3D printing, you can make almost anything, but sometimes it's actually cheaper to use other methods rather than using 3D printing. Okay. Tine, are you still here? Because last time we couldn't hear you. Uh, Tine, 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 where are you? Um, yeah. On my, my icon is written P. It's P around the thing. Yeah, so you had a question. Yeah, my question is, can a 3D printer make a phone? Yes. They already answered that question. <laughs> they didn't. He wasn't here. There's a time you, you went out. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. That's why when you came back, you're no longer an admin. Nomi, over to you. Okay. Um, looks like you had a good day listening on 3D printers and what they can make and um how we use them. So um next week you guys should come to hear more more about technology. It's from um two o'clock to three. So um um we're going to close. Um let T Tine pray for us, please. Let us pray. Our Father, our King heaven, may please be with us during the day. We pray that you may help us, guide us, lead us, and protect us. We thank you for the lesson that we have learned today and that you may be with us and that we may come back next week and learn another lesson. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. 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 I want to see you guys. Put your cameras on. I want to see you before you look out. Put your cameras on. Those that are said remain behind, please remain behind. No, me, why is your sister said? Oh, what's happening behind you? Who is there? Who is behind you? Oh, <laughs> me, yeah. <laughs>